to this edition of Inside Southern California. I'm Lynn Harper, and as you can see behind me, we've got a sound check going on, getting ready for the most exciting shows we've ever done. We have two most amazing artists to show you. Oh, by the way, the first one coming up is known as the Queen of Roadhouse Rock. Her name is Eve Sellis. Stay with us. I'm here with Eve Sellis, our queen of the roadhouse rock. Oh, talk about rocking. <laughs> I can't even believe you're on your feet after oh. that performance. 
Hey, it's what I love to do. It's easy. I want to know, how long after you were born did you decide that you wanted to do this for a living? I was very young, and I just kept singing and singing, and my family would tell me, stop singing, stop singing, you're driving us crazy. But I just kept doing it, and here I am today. Boy, are you ever. I'm a, and the, what a band you got. Oh, I What's know. the story on those guys? I am so lucky. I have a great band. Um, Mark Twang and I have been writing songs since 1991, and our drummer Bobby joined in 92, and everyone else kind of joined consecutively from there, and... I'm keeping them, and everyone tells me what a great band I have, and they I know are it's. Amazing. I'm spoiled. Oh, Eve, I mean, first of all, uh, Mark Twang, Mark Intravaya. Yes. You know, and then I think that uh, Jim Soldy, Cactus Jim. Yes. Sideman for Johnny Cash. Worked with Johnny Cash for four years. Oh. Worked with Ricky Skaggs for four years. He's amazing. What about Sharon White? I yeah. know, on the accordion. You know how um, many women can make an accordion play and sexy? <laughs> I, don't know I if agree. She does it. It's not easy, but she yeah. does a great job, and and I love the sound of an accordion. Oh, it's just know. you know you can't get it without doing something like this. And then <laughs> you got the other two guys. You got your drummer. Yes, Bob. Bob from Canada. And bass player. And our bass player Rick. And then a little special guest. You got a friend. I know who it is. I sure do. Hey, tell everybody oh, who's my, coming up next. My wonderful friend Mary Dolan. She's an amazing singer-songwriter. I've known her ever since high school. Yes, I'm older. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> Uh, we love to sing together. Any chance we get, we sing together. So let's introduce her. Okay. Okay. Ladies go. and gentlemen, the wonderful, the amazing Mary Dolan!
boy, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? It was so good. Our audience <laughs> refuses to leave the building. Yay. They want to sit here and watch us talk for a while before we... Yay! Yay. Yay. Yes! Yes! Isn't she amazing? Isn't she oh, awesome? You weren't kidding. <laughs> you know, I have to tell you. No, I have to tell you, and you guys can listen. But the first time I saw Eve many times in performance, you know, but the first time I saw these two together was um, not so, uh, I think it was a couple of, uh, about a month ago or so. And I remember Eve was doing her thing. Fans of Eve, what's yeah. that thing? Yeah, you know. And um, I remember Eve said, I want to bring out a friend. And I said to myself and to others who would listen with an earshot, because I'm not known for, you know, keeping it quiet. Oh, I'm Benny the poor fool has to follow that, you know. Guess who followed that? <laughs> This dervish comes jumping out on the stage. <laughs> I had a second heart attack. I mean, it's a devil. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So thank you for um, bringing you along. This You're is welcome. totally cool. Well, thanks You're for letting me. Oh, uh, well, you know, see, I'm a little, you know, whoa, I just, she's going to come attack. Um, I, have a, I have a quick question for you. Okay. And that has to do with your Janis Joplin thing. Mm -hmm. What is it with you and Janis Joplin? How do you channel that woman? I don't, I, you know, I really don't know. The song is, is so, it's so deeply painful. And, it, you know, anybody can, if you just look deeply enough, I think you can kind of resonate with that whole, that whole, oh, that, oh, take another little piece of my heart. Just, oh, that whole painful thing. And I just kind of suck it up from my toes, and I just feel it. And, and that's where it comes from. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, I was talking to uh, Eve earlier and about how Eve had the calling to be a performer. Mm -hmm. She'd given your God-given voice in a great band, you know. How did that happen for you? I think it just kind of happened through my family. You know, I grew up um, in the Catholic Church and started singing in the church choir, you know, at a pretty young age. And... Uh, I caught the bug, you know, you put a kid in front of an audience, if they clap, <laughs> I'm in. Yeah, yeah, really, it's a good well, feeling. You know, it's a funny thing, because I was uh, watching the show with the two of you, and Eve, you said that you went to high school with Mary? Yes, yeah. we went to high school together. Whoa. I know, yeah. I know. You know what's even cooler is that <laughs> Eve and my brother John were voted most talented in their senior class. Yes, we were. They're in the yearbook. Yeah. We are opposed. <laughs> and so, what That's were you so voting? Nothing. Oh, <laughs> that's so insane. You robbed. I know. <laughs> well, I want to know why you had the idea, after performing separately, to then perform with Mary Dolan together. You're, you're, you're different. I mean, you both are rocking, you know, Queen of the Roadhouse rock. Sure. God, I don't know how to explain you. you know. <laughs> Think about it. I mean, you know, you've seen both of you them know, individually, am I right? Right? You've seen them. I, it's, I it think it. one of the f most fun things, I think, as a performer is when you get an opportunity to see someone else that blows you away. Yeah. And you're like, you just want to stand next to them. You just want to be close to them. Mm -hmm. And it's an honor and it's fun to get to share the stage with them. And just, it's like, you know, your goodness, my goodness, we'll put it together. No, my goodness. Yeah. That was silly. <laughs> Well, you know, this is something that, that you guys will appreciate, you know, now that you've seen both of these women individually perform. And uh, both of you have a measure of success for sure. But the first question I asked myself when I first saw Eve Sellis and then when I saw Mary Dolan was, I don't understand when you say the name Eve Sellis and you say the name Mary Dolan, why the world doesn't go, oh, yeah. And so I'm going to put you on the spot and start with you, Eve. Okay. I want to know what it's like. I'm going to ask you the same thing, Mary, so pay okay. attention. All right, I'm working. <laughs> What's it like to look like you look, perform like you perform, everyone that sees you falls at your feet? <laughs> yes? Yes? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you ever look in the mirror and say, you know what? Why? Why am I not Barbara Streisand level? Tell me what goes through your head. You know, it's funny, uh, when you're younger, you, you start, you go at your career a little differently. I just want to be a star, I just want to be a star, and, and it's so important at a young age to just be recognized in that realm. And then as you get older, you're like, I just want to write a really good song, or I just want to touch people's hearts, I want to make a difference that way. And if it catches on, uh, well, you know, I, I would love to sell a million records, wouldn't yeah, you? Absolutely. That would be a great thing, I know we could if we got the chance, but it's like the industry has their standards and there's like an age issue and it's like, well, you know, I'm going to sing till I'm 80 and I have no teeth left, I don't care, <laughs> you know? So, I don't know, it's just, I, I guess you kind of switch your focus and if, if it happens, Right on. I'm all. I'm there. But if it doesn't happen, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. This is all I know how to do. Don't you get resentful though, Eve? Don't you get resentful when you see certain performers who can't touch you? Oh. Come on. Well. Come on. I don't know about 
resentful, saying, but you, you know, just, I, tell I think, I think your ego steps up and you're just like, hey, I can do that too. But so can a lot of people who are amazingly talented, who go to work every day and work at the hospital or well, the, you know, whatever they do. So it's just kind of like a lot of it, I think is luck of the draw and who, you know, and well, then let's find out from you. Uh, the same question. I think the same is true, and I think that I think that when I was younger, like you were saying, you know, oh, wouldn't it be great to be a star? That'd be so cool. And then there there comes the resentment, you know, when maybe yep. you're a little, a little bit emotionally immature, and this will this will mature you definitely. This will help you to become a little bit more spiritually aware of your surroundings right. when you see somebody who's getting the money and the backing who maybe doesn't ha necessarily have the the uh, musical goods. Say it, the talent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on, we're all friends yeah, here. Yeah, the Let's talent, the goods, whatever. Yeah. And, and this person becomes a superstar, and you go, but I don't get what. What's going on? After a while, it gets to be, oh, yeah, I'm really doing this because I was given this to share with. Yeah. Look, there's these people right here, and they're having such a great time. And that what it, that's what it comes down to when you kind of grow through it, you know. Well, now, I don't mean to say you two are growing old, long gray beards here. I mean, come on, this superstardom <laughs> is probably in, in your future. It bothers me that it's not right here now. But it's a good thing because if they were Barbara Streisand level superstars, I wouldn't get a chance to sit here oh. and talk to both of you. So that's oh, really I love cool. your attitude. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's my charm, you know. <laughs> Speaking of which, I saw you individually. And at the show I told you about, I saw you perform together. And before you opened your mouths, I said, nah, this can't happen. There's no way these two can perform together in any cohesive manner, right? <laughs> Guess True. what? We got this for you right now. So, my pleasure to introduce you to the two of them, Eve Sellis, Queen of Roadhouse Rock, Mary Dolan, singer-songwriter, I'm being conservative when I say that, they're going to perform together, so what I want to do is prepare the bomb shelter, we're all going to be blown away, here they are, Eve Sellis and Mary Dolan, so enjoy. Mm -hmm. All right, girls. Cool. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, go girls. <laughs> Bye.
Well, I hope you enjoyed the musical experience that we brought you today. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it was absolutely terrific. And I heard that uh, regarding this band, Bob Harris, who happens to be the Dick Clark of the BBC, said that watching this band was in the top five musical experiences of his career. And we're really honored to be able to bring Eve Sellis, Mary Dolan, and that fantastic band to you. And just to remind you that you are watching Inside Southern California on the Adelphia Channel, my name is Lynn Harper. Thank you so much for being with us. Bye-bye. <laughs>